Good morning, South Florida. I'm Angel Catruno. I'm currently getting my master's in journalism at the University of Miami, and most importantly, I'm the Six in the Mix intern for the summer. I will be done in December, and future plans entail basically wherever an on-air reporting job takes me, whether that's hard news, entertainment, or sports, literally anything. Yes, I'm open to all opportunities, but enough about that. Let's get to what's trending in the newsroom today. Tell me the Executive producer Alex Suarez did some diligent research by watching Disney Junior theme songs. Yep, that's him right there. there. And Jogo swears that the studio is negative degrees for the past weeks. There she is shivering away. I'll be there for you. With a 25 years of friends celebration, Jen failed to clap at all. So no one told you life was gonna be this way, right? You have to sing that song when you see them. In a briefing of upcoming guests, our producer Lourdes explained one of our guests, a rapper and reality TV star, collabed with Quavo from My Ghost. For some emphasis, it is Quavo with Migos. So did you guys watch The Bachelor at last night? I watched it. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, Jamal Dante, he made sure to fill us in. Our man in the mix joins us for a quick recap now on. Hannah Brown, her new man, maybe, and this windmill. What is with this windmill? What is going on? <laughs> okay, so. And our man in the mix was thrown on live for some Bachelorette final recap. And also, he apparently has a resemblance to Roosevelt Franklin, the Muppet, not the president. There. Um, apparently, I also cannot ad lib or read the teleprompter correctly, but. And when we come back, I'll be on the couch with some NBC6 advice. We have Grant here today. He's an intern at NBC6. And tell me a little bit about your time here. Hi. Um, okay, so my time has been honestly one of the most exciting summers that I've spent in my waking adult life. Um, I worked in the production department, so it, I was behind the scenes for everything that was filmed in the studios. Um, I definitely learned the ins and outs of filming content and learned way more than I was ever expecting to. So overall, I'm just so grateful and thankful for everything I've learned and the people I've met at my time at NBC6. Awesome, it sounds like so much fun and such a great time. Um, there were some funny moments and some fun moments, I know that, so um, like, what was something, a fun moment that you can recall? Uh, well, a fun joke often thrown around by some of our dear anchors um, was my own resemblance to Robert Pattinson in the critically acclaimed film Twilight as Edward Cullen. Um, I don't see it. Do you I guys see, see it? it? Do you guys but see it? <laughs> I'll take the compliment where it comes, I guess. I'm just hoping that his new Batman feature might shift things around for me. Maybe you'll be the new Batman now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. All right, well, this was Edward Cullen. Oops, <laughs> Grant. <laughs> <laughs> and follow him on Instagram and go to NBC6.com slash six in the mix. We'll be right back. And now it's time for some thank yous. I want to do some big thank yous to Joe and Jen for the on-air teleprompter tips, the awesome mom tips and stories, and telling me to embrace my youngness. Your life was gonna be this way. I'm going to switch those reads. No, yes. no, 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 no. Thank you, Lourdes, for showing me how the glue to a team works. And Alex, for showing me life is more fun when you're as chill as you are. And most importantly, thank you both, both for the producing and writing tips. Thanks to the four of you for the daily laughs when we get shushed by the entire newsroom. Thank you, Mousy, for being a real one, and Kelly for bringing us to cover Swim Week. Thank you to the control room, Nancy, Robert, and Jen for letting me practice and directing. And yes, Robert, there is cheese in it, in all the food. Also, do not put the Chirons after the red. It just messes the whole control room up. 
I don't know why. Uh, thank you Helen and Kevin for miking hundreds of guests with the yellow, pink, and gold mic names and for fl floor directing. It's on point. Thank you, Roxy, for showing me not to talk like this in the Daily Mix IG stories. You sound like you're being like the, like you're reading like this, a moment testimony. Like and that there is a great love for JLo that I have never seen before. Thank you, Johnny, for being the Red Bull that we all need in the morning and that it's possible to still be energized even after the 3 a.m. shift. Thank you to the digital team, Jermel, for dealing with my di digital concepts, idea pitches, and for actually letting me do them. Just a little bit of what we can see at the show. Like come out naked in cartwheel yeah. and just be like, yo, good night. Okay. He's all about to revamp, and you know you do the revamp. Mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying? I got, I got a couple of special. Yeah, I mean, I actually found that a lot of like the behind the scenes photos, I'm not in it because I'm taking a long nap. <laughs> Jason, thank you for giving me daily tasks prior to each of the, day, of the six in the mix shows. I tried to never miss an email for you. And the news desk, thank you for letting me venture into your sector and letting me go out with reporters. Pedestrians walking these areas are being asked to stay vigilant and on alert. There has not been new sightings of the black bear, but if you do see it, be sure to call Homestead Police or FWC. I'm Angelica Taruno reporting in Homestead, NBC6 News. Hey, it's South Florida. We're here collecting school supplies like pencils, notebooks, and it's all made possible thanks to you. Hola amigos, soy Angelica Taruno con Acceso Total. Dora in the Lost City of Gold se estrena muy pronto. Conversé con Eva Longoria y Eugenio Derbez, quienes tienen un mensaje muy importante para el público latino. Hey guys, I'm Angel Petruno and I'm at the Silver Spot Cinemas for the movie premiere of The Kitchen, where it's featuring three strong women, Melissa McCarthy, Tiffany Haddish, and Elizabeth Moss. It goes back to 1978, and let me tell you, it gets hot in the kitchen. The list really does go on and on, but I'm being told I only have 15 seconds left. Thank you all of NBC6 and Telemundo 51 for showing me journalistic and life skills I will carry with me for a lifetime. I'm thankful for this out of the world opportunity. Thanks.